All right, so next up we have Mark and Lauren Grootman. They're coming up as a husband-wife team. And they want to tell us that budgeting can actually be fun, not just a tedious chore. So I'll hand it over. All right. All right, thanks for having us. So today, if everybody, if you have a glass of wine, I want you to hold it up. Because this is how budgeting can be fun. You start with a glass of wine. Not an expensive one. No. Nope. Maybe $11 a bottle. Right. So two buck chuck, right? And then you start with two totally, completely different personality styles and money management styles. Now, Lauren thinks that I'm a nerd. He's a nerd. I might be an actuary, but I'm not a total nerd. And you know what? I would be lost without him because he loves spreadsheets. That's very strong of a word. You have an inappropriate relationship with spreadsheets. Spreadsheets make sense. It's how you organize the world. Spreadsheets make me want to crawl in a hole and die. Well, then how should we budget? With feelings? That sounds like a great idea. That's not going to work very well. Yeah, well, you know what's cool about budgeting is that you can actually take the goals that you have and you can change them into things that actually make a difference. So we usually start with income. Can anybody, the red, that's kind of what the income is like now. It's not very flat. Tax time used to be fun, and now as entrepreneurs, it's not so fun anymore. So we need to take a look and account for our income and also for our bills. This isn't very fun yet. No, it's not. We should just stop. Okay, so being part of budgeting is that it's not fun in the beginning, but you can make it fun in the long run because you're achieving these goals. Now, besides the bills, we have also unexpected items. Well, these are expected now. We actually have a parking ticket category. Here's the one I got last week in front of our house. Yeah, so we have a parking ticket category because we always get, uh, you know, charged with parking tickets. Also, as our budget, we have these unexpected things. We have a ton of nieces and nephews. I have nine under the age of eight. And I have four under the age of four. Plus, we have four children of our own. So that means we're shopping for 17 kids every month. Why did the kids' pants fit them in June, and suddenly they put them on again in August and they don't fit? Because we don't want them to look like Steve Urkel. We will make sure that it's fun and put money aside every single month in the budget for clothing. So who's going to get hurt next month? Okay, so one of our daughters swallowed a coin the other month, and then we had a broken arm. And you know how budgeting, you try and figure it out, and all of a sudden somebody goes and swallows a coin, and you have to eat out, and your budget is completely blown. And now that we're entrepreneurs, we're traveling a lot. FinCon is obviously the greatest of these travels. But it's expensive, and it's not just coming here. It's babysitters, and, well, yeah, babysitters makes it very expensive. And wine. Wine, that's yeah. a common. And also, we really, Mark, we need a new van. That looks great. What are you talking about? That's a nice it's perfect. Van. We need to set aside a category every single month in our budget to be putting aside money so that when our van breaks in like a month, we have money to pay for it. We can do this, though. We can move stuff around because we've given ourselves limits. And that's what budgeting really is, right? Right. And myself as a spender who loves to spend money, that it's healthy for me to have a budget. It's fun for me to have a budget because I can spend money, but yet I have a limit. And by having limits in the short term, we make sure that our long term has no limits at all. Right. So by setting the goals now, we know that in the future we have a, be a beautiful financial future because we've taken the time to budget now. Now, again, in the short term, it kind of sucks. I feel like we always try to set a target and we hardly ever hit it. How often do we actually plan to spend X dollars and we actually execute it with perfection? It never, ever happens. But just by setting that budget and trying, in the long term, we are going to hit the target every single time. We're going to retire. We're going to be able to send our kids to college. These are goals that we're going to accomplish. Right, and because of these things, we really get to take a look at our values. Now, budgeting is truly fun when you realize that the spending of your money actually is reflected in or your values are actually reflected in the way that you're spending your money. And so we have four beautiful children, and we want to make sure that we give them the best future. So budgeting, even in the beginning, is not so fun, but because we're spending our money according to our values, it really is fun. Speaking of values, Mark, I got one for you. We love to spend time together. So when is the last time you've taken me out on a date? July. What are you doing tomorrow? FinCon does not count. I think the most fun part of budgeting, though, is that 
We plan how we're going to spend our money, so we're not stressing about it through the rest of the month. We can just enjoy life and have fun as a family. And it really is adds purpose to our life to not have to stress about money anymore. So once we're done with our budget, we then finish our glass of wine. Or the bottle. Right. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Give it up, everybody, for Mark and Lauren G.